Gratefulness. What is gratefulness and why is it so important? Gratefulness is being thankful to the source of something you've received. And it's not just thankfulness, though. What people miss a lot of times is the humility that you feel that has to be the bed in which this thankfulness rests upon. You're, you're, you're extra humble because you're, you're acknowledging to that person or that thing or that entity, or whatever, God, whomever, the universe, you're acknowledging, wow, you know, I probably wouldn't have this thing without you. You're you're the resource that brought this to me. That's what humility. That's what the humility is for. You know, not just oh wow, thank you. I'm so excited. Oh, I appreciate. No, no. It's like oh wow. I wouldn't have it without you. It's that. It's that. It's that's the part that no one talks about. The humbleness. The modesty underneath the joy and the excitement and the good feeling that you've gotten from receiving this thing. Now, everyone watching this video, you're a child of a parent. You've, you're, you're born, so you're a child of a parent. Or you, and, and, and you may even have children. So now, if you look at it on a physical level, when you give to your child and they're thankful to you. Oh, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. You, you, you feel something. You feel like... <laughs> You feel that joy in there, a little bit. And if they're not so thankful, you're like, hmm. You feel a little bit of something as well. Let's not even call that a name yet. Let's not even call that a name. But you feel something when you don't feel like you're getting back from them an equivalent energy in which what you've given them. You may have given them a toy, a racing car set to your son or a doll to your daughter a thing and the energy they give back to you if it's not equivalent in your mind it doesn't feel equivalent to the amount of money you spend or whatever the time whatever you did to get that then you feel uh, now let's go up one level the universe we're not going to say god that god limits the term god is limiting all right we're going to say this all that is all that is is the source of everything that we receive ultimately now when you're humble and thankful to the universe and you broadcast that energy out to the universe the universe also basks basks in that feeling oh, and finds more things to push your way to point your way it's the same thing, as above, so below, right? I, I, I want people to really get that gratefulness, that to release the power, to activate the power of gratefulness is not just joyfulness and thank you, I appreciate what you've done. It's the humbleness underneath that. When a person is humble, like the sea, Everything trickles down to you. You know the low. The, the Bible says that the meek shall inherit the earth. What does that mean? You, know, you keep yourself low and humble. Everything comes, draws, trickles down to you. You know because you're giving off that perpetual, grateful broadcasting energy to the universe. So it's important to take a few hours. Excuse me, a few minutes a day. <laughs> especially in the morning, and that helps to set the momentum for you for the day. Just to be humbly grateful to your source. Humbly grateful. Think about how you would feel if your child comes to you in the morning. Wow, mom, dad, thank you so much for being my mom. You're the best mom, best dad any kid could ever have. How would you feel? Just hear me say that. You, you feel a little bit of, uh, okay, that's the same thing that happens when you do it to the universe. There's an exchange of energy there. You can't touch it, but you feel it. You will feel it. 
and now the universe there's an there's an infinite intelligence there. The universe now likes that feeling from you. It, 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 it beyond liking, it, it it's obligated to give you more of that because that's the laws. That's the law. The universe follows its own laws, at least here in this physical existence that we're at. And so the law is when you give some energy, the recipient of that energy has got to give you something back. The universe prides itself on keeping things equilibrated. Everything has got to be balanced. Everything has to have a balancing thing going on there. And that's the why gratitude will always bring you things because you're broadcasting out an energy to the universe of humble thankfulness and the universe has to respond to that which you're broadcasting and give you more things, more experiences, more reasons because you've targeted the universe with this and so you get targeted back with the same energy at a slightly elevated level, at a slightly larger, wider level or scale because energy is always it, 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 it loves to expand and, and spread out. You know, it's a wave. It's a wave. Wave spreads out as it goes out. So when you send out humble thankfulness energy to the universe, and it elevates a little bit. And so when you get it back, it's at an even more elevated level. I mean, that makes sense to you, but that is the power of gratitude. And the most important piece of gratitude is the humble, the humility underneath, the acknowledgement that, yes, you are the source. And I'm thankful. I'm very thankful for that. See what happens.